Welcome back to Be Terrific. I'm your host, Jason Aaron. And we are here at CE Week 2016. Now, if you're getting ready to file this under my job is a hell of a lot cooler than yours, <laughs> I am here with Philip from Physics. And uh, this thing, this device to my left, makes beer. Awesome. Been said. Enough. <laughs> it's, we're, that's done. So I'm just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the next 10 minutes of my life while Philip tells us all about this uh, extremely small uh, what, micro brew. What is it? Well, Jason, first off, thank you so much for having me here. My pleasure. Um, beer is awesome, right? And can't we all know that. I can't argue. <laughs> and we all know that beer tastes best fresh from the tap. But when we are drinking out of cans and bottles, it doesn't quite taste the same. And this is how physics started a couple years ago, is my co-founder and I were having a great draft beer at a local microbrewery. And I asked you know, why does beer taste so good fresh from the tap, but when we drink it out of home, out of cans and bottles, it doesn't taste the same. So we created a technology platform that is based on fluid and gas dynamics that can elevate the aroma, flavor, and taste of ordinary can or bottle beer to make it taste like it's fresh from the tap. So, okay, so first of all, before we even get into this, that means I'm not going out and harvesting uh, barley in the backyard. No, absolutely not. Let me show you how it works. So, um, we've got a great Belgium lager here. Stella, sure do. I'm sure you're familiar with this. I've heard of it. Okay. So, simply insert any size can, or any size bottle, even up to a 64 ounce growler. Fits right into the system. Wow. This system, once you put the can or bottle, insert the feed tube, it will keep the beer insulated. Um, so it'll keep it cool and fresh. Oh, you know what I'm to do? I'm going to give you a hand pour. I'm going to show you the same beer right out of the bottle so you can do a side by side comparison and taste the difference. Now, folks, this is science, okay? This is it, all not, in the name of science. We're not just drinking for the sake of getting drunk at 12 30 on a Thursday before lunch. This is. Science and technology. <laughs> you know, it's after 5 o'clock somewhere in the world. That is true. So how it works is you're going to pull the handle forward. You hold the glass at an angle. And the system will dispense the beer under pressure at a controlled rate. And we do this because we want to maintain the carbonation in the body of the beer. And then when you push the handle in the backwards position, behold the magic of science. Utilizing sound waves... We perfect the density, stability, and texture of the foam. This will greatly enhance the aroma, but it'll give the beer a rich, smooth, full bodiness of an authentic draft beer. And make you look like a boss that you know how to pour <laughs> the perfect beer. So please, go ahead. Okay, so first, plain boring, Stella. <laughs> which is not bad. Now, perfected Stella. Okay. I wish that our viewers, <laughs> this isn't even like a little bit. It's like, it is night and day. Isn't it amazing? The, the bottle, and I, I want to say the bottle, it's the same beer. It's literally even the same <laughs> bottle of beer. This was so much like harsher and felt more carbonated, like a soda carbonation. Okay. Where this with the foam, it was smooth. Absolutely. You had the foam taste. And then the beer was just smoother on the way in. And I took like a sip. Yeah. And this is I'm just all. going to double check, make sure it was still please working. Please, go ahead. This is, this is all science. So what we found, though, is, you know, aroma has, is 75% of flavor. You know, whether if you ever have a sinus cold and you're eating something, everything Doesn't tastes, tastes so bland, right? So aroma is a key. In beer, the aroma is derived through ester bottle compounds that are released through the foam. It's called the head of the beer. So if you see any advertisement for any beer company, the head pouring out over the top, they're gonna they're gonna show you the beer with a great head on there, right? Um, but what we found is the on a ham pour or even on a draft pour, the foam had this very grainy, like negative texture to it. And uh, we studied the cranial nerve number five, which is called the trigeminal nerve, which is effectively responsible for all sensation and motor functions in your, in your face. And we discovered that 
with the ideal density, we can alter the texture. So this gives you that smooth, real yes, full bodiness to the beer. Um, and between that and the tremendous amount of additional aroma, it takes some ordinary can or bottle experience and makes it extraordinary. Well, Actually better than tap. So that's, that was sort of my question. I mean, Stella's a good beer. A fantastic beer. Yes. But this is a lot better than that. No question. So does this mean that I can go buy some, you know, Pabst Blue Ribbon, <laughs> you know, like a 36-pack and, and, and get it in here? And I, now I got good beer out of cheap crap beer. Yeah, we're, we're big beer geeks, uh, but we truly believe the best beer is the beer in your hand, right? Uh, it'll make a, an inexpensive beer, right? Make a, a pretty inexpensive beer. tastes pretty good. Make a good beer. tastes, tastes great. Really but if you put a great craft beer in here... It just makes it taste awesome, awesome. So I now know, and this is science. I mean, we've got to keep reminding you know, our, our viewers. Practical use case, right? I, I got five guys over, and we're drinking. I mean, how, what's, you know, what's sort of the process? Like, how long does it take? I saw you pour one. Yeah. Is, is it, uh, this isn't plugged in, right? No, so the system works off four AA batteries, and it'll give you over 300 12-ounce pours, just on four AA batteries. It weighs less than four pounds, so it's really portable. Um, ideally, you got buddies over, put a 64-ounce growler in there, and your buddies can tap themselves. And, and how the system works is uh, it's sealed and pressurized, so we seal off any excess air because air oxygen will, will degrade the flavor. And if you can see, the, the head on this hand pour it went away really quickly. I still have head here. This foam here, it just blankets over, On so it top protects of what the I body of the beer. Drank. <laughs> um, but we pour the beer under pressure, so we're not sucking the beer up from the bottle. We're actually pushing the beer down the bottle, up through the tube, and there's a digital microcontroller that will monitor the rate of flow and dynamically adjust the pressure, so you get the ideal flow, so the beer doesn't foam up. We want to maintain all that undissolved carbonation in the body of the beer. Then when you push the handle backwards, that's where our technology really kicks in, and we give you that, that perfect foam. So how do I know how much head to put on the beer, how much foam to put on the beer? How do I know? Different styles of beer you know, will require different levels of foam, but the great thing is about beer, it's subjective. Right? It, depending if you're drinking, a, say, a, a cherry wheat right, or a raspberry porter, I typically go a little heavy with the foam. Uh, and some of these lagers, maybe an inch, inch and a half. Some of the IPAs, I look, make maybe a half inch. It all depends on the style of beer and particularly your preference. But the great thing about it is, in the name of research and great tasting beer, trial and error. Exactly. <laughs> now, do I need any other components aside for four batteries when I get this? The only thing you need is four AA batteries. So initially, when we were doing a lot of R&D and research on this, we had tested forced carbonation. We had tested nitrogen and, and other type of chemicals and additives. And what we found though is they will all alter the flavor profile in a negative way. And when you were drinking this right out of the bottle, you had noticed, yeah, this felt more, you know, there, there was a different type of harshness to it. And that is the effects of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide doesn't have a flavor, but it has a sensation. And that sensation is called pain. It's called carbonic acid. And so when that, when that CO2 unzo is hitting your tongue, it's going to create this pain sensation. What we do is we, we minimize the effects of carbonic acid and you have this real smoothness. And it really enables you to taste you know, the citrus or the, the other complexities that are in the beer that you otherwise wouldn't be able to taste. I mean, I am floored because the reality is, and this is what's so great about a show... You guys being at a show like this and a show like Be Terrific where we can connect with our fans, this in an infomercial would <laughs> seem like a, a scam of some, not I don't know, scam's not the right word, but it would just seem like a gimmick. That's that's a much better tasting word. Tasting is believing. Yeah. That is that is a key content. We say tasting is believing. Uh, when you try our system, everybody's blown away. We've been covered by all the major media publications. We go to beer festivals every single week. We get in front of thousands of people to taste it. But, you know, we came out of crowdsourcing. This is something very interesting. So we launched a campaign about a year ago on crowdsourcing, on Indiegogo. Uh, we hit our goal the first day. We've actually did over, you know, close to a quarter million dollars on our campaign. 
Um, so people were believers right away. People put their trust in us to deliver on the promise. And once we delivered, we, we shipped on time, we deliver all our units. Those thousands of people that contributed to our campaign, they become brand advocates for us. So the first thing they do is they share it with their friends and family. And they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, and then we launched with Brookstone in November. We were the number one selling product at Brookstone through the holiday season. Crazy. And right after Christmas, you know, we were anticipating sales would drop off through the holiday, after the holiday season. They shot up because right after people opened their gifts, there was New Year's, and they shared this physics experience with their friends and families. And then we had the playoffs and Super Bowl, and it's, there's never, there's a, not a month that goes by where there isn't a great uh, reason to drink beer. That, that, is, that is true. Now, where do I get it? So we're, we launched at Brookstone. Uh, we're available now at Target, Best Buy, Total Wine & More, Cabela's. Uh, in the next 60 days, we're launching with Amazon, Best Buy Canada. In the second half of the year, we have a, a number of other large big box and national retailers coming on board. And what does it cost? It's $169. I mean, that is a teeny tiny price to pay to improve <laughs> every beer you drink for the rest of your life. And one more technical question. How do I know when the batteries are dead? Yeah. How do I know it's not working? Yeah, so when the batteries go dead, it'll stop working. It won't pour. <laughs> yeah, it won't pour. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's easy then. And there's, like you said, there's, there's no consumables or proprietary cartridges or gas or chemicals. All you need is four AA batteries. And aside from the retailers, what's the website so I can learn more about it? It's physics.com, F-I-Z-Z-I-C-S, or you can go to upgradeyourbeer.com. Amazing. You heard it here first. Uh, we're going to sign off for a minute or two so I can, uh, we'll be back with more Be Terrific.